Let's level about the high-speed rail. You know, I have nothing but respect for Governor Brown and Governor Schwarzenegger's vision. I share it. And there's no doubt that our state's economy and quality of life depend on improving transportation. But let's be real. The current project, as planned, would cost too much and respectfully take too long. There's been too little oversight and not enough transparency. Right now, there simply isn't a path to get from Sacramento to San Diego, let alone from you know, San Francisco to LA. I wish there were. However, we do have the capacity to complete a high-speed rail link between Merced and Bakersfield. Now, I know, I know some critics are going to say, well, that's a train to nowhere. But I think that's wrong, and I think that's offensive. The people of the Central Valley endure the worst air pollution in America and have some of the longest commutes in this state. And they have suffered too many years of neglect from policymakers, respectfully, here in Sacramento. They deserve better. And the High Speed Rail Project can be part of that. You can't say this enough. The high-speed rail is more than a train project. It's about economic transformation. It's about unlocking the enormous potential of the valley. You know, we can align our economic and workforce development strategies anchored by the high-speed rail and pair them with tools like opportunity zones that can form the backbone of a reinvigorated Central Valley economy. Merced, Fresno, Bakersfield and communities in between are more dynamic than people realize. The valley <laughs> true. You know, the valley may be known around the world for agriculture, but there's another story ready to be told, a, a story of a region hungry for investment, a workforce eager for more training and good jobs, Californians that deserve a fair share of our state's prosperity. Look, we'll continue to support our regional projects north and south. We'll finish phase one of the environmental work. We'll connect the revitalized Central Valley to other parts of the state, and we will continue to push forward for more federal funding and private dollars. But let's get something done once and for all. And for those <laughs> And for those of you, I know you're out there, that, that just want to throw away this whole project, sort of give up on this whole endeavor, I just offer you this. Abandoning the high-speed rail entirely means we will have wasted billions and billions of dollars with nothing but broken promises, partially fulfilled commitments, and lawsuits to show for it. And with all due respect, I have no interest in sending back $3.5 billion of federal funding that was allocated to this project to President Donald Trump. That, would, would, that fundamentally would have to happen if we just walked away. But also, I'm not interested in making the same old mistakes. And that's why today I'm ordering some new transparency measures. We're going to hold contractors, we're going to hold consultants accountable to having to explain how tax dollars are spent, including change orders, cost overruns, and even travel expenses. And we're going to put it online so everybody can see it. New day. And we're also, we're also going to see some governance changes, starting with my, my pick for the next chair of the High Speed Rail Authority, Lenny Mendoza, my economic development director.